everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's video, we are finally going to be using the Shark CNC machine that was given to me. I have done a few practice projects on it already. If you follow me over on Instagram, you will know that I have done some smaller projects to get used to the software that goes with running a CNC machine. We are going to be V carving with a 90 degree V bit, so that's cool. I've already practiced and played around with it, and what we're going to be doing is making a new shop sign. This was my original shop sign, and I wood burned at the back the date 2015, so it's going on six or seven years old now, and all of the work here was scroll saw work, and then I cut this shield out with the jigsaw, and then I sanded it, and then I have painted everything, and then put it all together, and it's held up fairly well over the years being out in the weather, the snow, the rain, the heat, the cold, but I'm ready to make a new one that shows off everything I know. And I've already done a small test run on it on this piece, and it came out great. Really, really cool, and I'm excited to show this to you guys. My blank that we're going to be using is a piece of blue pine. These were boards that were given to me, and I smoothed them on the thickness planer and 90 them on the joiner, and then I glued them into a panel and sanded them nice and smooth. But So this was three boards that I made into one. I'm going to attach it to the machine, but before I do that, I'm going to attach this Aura mask. This blue stuff peels off like a sticker and attaches to the wood to mask off areas that will not be painted. I know some people put a lot of masking tape on their stuff, but I'm going to peel this off, put it on. You can pick this up at Clings 4 Woodworking Shop. It was actually recommended to me by Clings 4 when I done some of my original stuff and they saw how I was finishing it. They contacted me and recommended it and I highly recommend it to you guys. It does not dull the bit and when you're done and you've painted everything you just peel this off, throw it away and you're ready to rock and roll with sanding and finishing. So let's head over to the workbench right now and get the Aura mask attached to the wood here and then we'll come back to the CNC machine and get started. And over here on the workbench, we're going to attach the ore mask to the board, making sure it's nice and flat with no bubbles. And then we're going to take the board over to the CNC machine and begin locking it down with the clamps. And I've got some T-bolts with washers in them. I'm going to go on and apologize that I don't know how to show you guys the computer side of things yet, but I hope to learn that for future videos. Marking where my zero is, and on this Shark CNC, you set zero manually, and I kind of like that, so I'm doing that now. And when I'm comfortable where it's at, I will hit go and the sign will begin routing. And of course the video is sped up, but in reality it took around 20 minutes to route out this sign. I'm using a V-Carve 90 degree bit. And it's fun to just sit back and watch the machine do its job. I converted my logo into a line drawing on the Vetric VCarve software that runs this machine. And I exported it to a SD card and brought it out here to the laptop to run the CNC file. And as you can see, my board is way bigger than it needs to be. Until I am more comfortable with the CNC machine, I will make my boards and my blanks a little bit bigger than they need to be. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Again, just an amazing piece of technology.
doing the final details now and then the router will come back to the zero we set and I will jog the motor back to where we can take the piece off of the CNC again it took around 20 minutes to carve out the sign then we will take it over to the table saw and trim it down to its final dimensions and then I'm going to take the sign over to the workbench and use my marathon rotary tool with a mini flapper sanding wheel that Sterling Davis gave me to clean up some of the fuzzies now we'll just spray paint everything black and this is where the aura mask really helps once you peel it off there's minimal sanding but once that dries and I remove the masking tape from the border I'm going to put a Roman OG profile all the way around it just for an added decorative touch and now we'll begin removing the aura mask with an exacto knife but you can really start to see some of the detail once the aura mask is removed it really really saves time with sanding but once I got the majority off we're going to use the random orbit sander to get the rest of the aura mask off the smaller pieces and then I'll switch to my palm sander with a hundred grit sandpaper to smooth everything out nice and smooth and I'll clean all the sawdust off and take the sign outside and give it several coats of clear gloss spray lacquer and the project was complete and here we have the completed shop sign it came out amazing this new technology that's out here in the workshop blows my mind I have seen CNC's run before at Makerspaces and at the ShopBot factory in Durham but this is just new and humbling to have it out here in this little workspace and from going from scroll sawing to this is a major learning curve I'm no CNC expert so please take anything I've said about CNC in this video with a grain of salt as I learn to more and broaden my horizons with all the possibilities that the CNC is going to offer it took around 20 minutes to cut this out I had the flat depth the depth that the bit will go down the farthest set at a quarter inch so you've seen the v-carve bit going back and forth the v-carve bit is the only bit I have right now I'm gonna get more but I think it came out great I think maybe in the line drawing over on the program software side of things I could have played with the A right here in the handle hammer and maybe some of the details in the actual hammerhead a little bit more to where they came out a little bit nicer but for a first great project and a new shop sign to hang on the door and again this is going to be outside in the elements just like the other sign I showed you at the beginning of the video I may go in here I haven't clear coated the back yet I might add some support strips and then run the wire across that to make it stand out from the door a little bit I don't know how I'm going to do that yet but I will be putting it on the shop door and finishing the back but it came out real great and the Roman OG profile around the base really makes everything pop and gives it a nice character but all in all I'm very happy with this and very satisfied with it and I hope you guys like watching me make it again I'm no CNC expert I've got a lot to learn I've got to get a spool board um, I think the cutting capacity of this CNC is two foot by three foot uh, don't quote me on that because I haven't exactly measured it but roughly that's the size that it can do so I gotta get a spool board where I can learn to cut through things instead of just engraving signs that's all I've done so far on it as of the recording of this video is just engrave signs with the v-carve technology um, I need different bits I want to get a dust boot for it to where it'll vacuum out and I know I've got great teachers I can reach out to and have them give me their knowledge and years of experience and just pick their brains about everything that's involved with CNC technology 
Um, again, I hope you guys like watching me make this. It is a very first CNC video for me. Um, remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. Please continue to like, share, follow, and subscribe to me here and on all my social media platforms down in the description box below. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.